Okay, so moving on with the ABAP commands, not re really, uh, directly related to internal tables. Next one I want to present to you is the if command or statement. So the if statement controls the program flow via conditions. When the if condition is satisfied, the statements right under it are executed. In the case the if condition is evaluated false and an optional else if condition exists, it's then evaluated too. An if statement may have any number of else if statements as needed. If all of the conditions are evaluated false and an else statement exists, its code is then processed. So I have here the if statement. Uh, as you can see, if this field uh, ld underscore renumber is equal to x, this piece of code here is executed. So if it's different from x, then the else com, uh, statement takes place here. And this piece of code is then executed. Let's move now to the line. Um, well, let's change the object here. Let's move to this one. Enter. Let's go to line, double click on the line uh, 1457 to tell you about the SELECT command, which is the SQL statement for reading database table entries matching the selection criteria. If just one line is retrieved, a work area is sufficient for restoring the data, but in case several lines are retrieved, data is usually stored in internal tables for further, further processing. This statement on the screen uh, what it does, it selects a single line, as you can see here from the keyword single, from this database table, T005, according to this condition. And in this case, as we can see, an explicit work area, so it's placed it in the work area that uh, has the same name of the intern of the database table. Moving to the next, so six nine to one, to present you the case command. Um, let me scroll up a bit. Okay, great. So, like the if command, the case statement is a control structure that, you, that usually contains multiple statement blocks. Case is opened with the variable that needs to be tested. Then, its possible value is compared to it via the when statement. So, we have here the case and then the when statement, which tests for the possible values for this variable. When the comparison is evaluated true, the code block right under it is executed. So imagine that this, uh, the value on this constant is equal to the value on this variable. This uh, assignment is processed. And then once one of them is true, the if statement or the, the case statement ends with the execution of the next statement, which is skip in this line, in this case. So important for you to know here, once any of these conditions is satisfied, so the codes or, or the code lines just be just uh, after it are executed and then the command ends and 
the control is handed over to the next statement. Next one is clear. Um, I can show you online uh, 70, sorry, 792. Uh, clear is, in fact, a very simple one. What it does, it clears the content of a variable or work area. What it means, that it means that char character fields are set to spaces and numeric fields are set to zero. It's very, really very simple, simple like this. Let me show you the next one, 8044. It's the call function or call method. In this case, we are really calling a function module. So it's, it calls uh, a defined routine. Uh, in this case, it's called a function module, which is this one. But we could also use a, a variant of the call command to call a method of a class. Such routines usually have important parameters which are input for the called routine and also exporting parameters that contain the output of the process and that we may need or want to check afterwards. This line called this function module, the one that is highlighted, passing two parameters, as you can see here in the exporting keyword. So this program here calls the function module, pass it passing these two parameters and it uh, receives back these other two after the processing. Then I will briefly talk to you about assignments. Um, so value assignment uh, can be explicit when the variable or field is explicitly listed or implicit when the fields with the same names are copied from one work area to the other. So uh, let me show you here, as you can see here in this line that I am highlighting now. Um, this is a direct assignment. So uh, the value, uh, this value is assigned to this variable here. Okay, direct assignment can be um, can be achieved using the the um, the equal sign. This is the case that you you see here, but it can also be achieved with the right comments. What's the difference between direct assignments, as you see it here, and right assignments using the right statement? Well, the difference between them is that write transforms the content of internal to external format and then assign, while variable to variable, variable or direct assignments just assign the internal format value. So let me try to give you an example. Direct assignment would move 1000 as 1 triple zero to a variable, whereas the right statement would move uh, one comma triple zero dot double zero. So this is the difference. One, the direct assignment moves the, the, the internal format and the right statement transform to the external format and then assign. We also have um, indirect assignments. So let me navigate to line 16, line to one. Okay, great. So we he you see here the moving corresponding statement. The work areas are compared to each other and all the matching fields um, 
of the 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 the, the, the source one are assigned to the target one in this case uh, both work areas have a field named uh, company code okay so the value of the company code is moved from bsec work area to l underscore more underscore bsec 